my ghosts on this episode of demons row tv we break down the most important part of mc culture and that's the beginning process the hang around process before you even become a prospect and we get into it on this episode of demons row tv and oh yeah we ghosting baby Ghosts, welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're going to get into it. To me, the most important part of joining the MC is the hang around process, even more important than a prospect. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on tools doing what you do or part of the demons row community one of my ghosts shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row shout to everybody that's been copping the demons row merch y'all y'all turning the demons row merch into the new like nike of like motorcycle club so i really appreciate everybody that's been supporting what i do my intentions are good and it's a brand that you can stand on so i really appreciate that follow us on instagram at demons row at sos the ghost underscore but let's get into it the hang around for one percenters and motorcycle clubs for any club i'm not sure if rcs do hang arounds too i'm sure everybody has a little process where they feel out a person before they join the club so that's a hang around for me the hang around process is the most important process in mc culture it's where you weed out the busters or if you're the person joining it's where you weed out a fake club or or a club that just doesn't fit your style you know what i mean the the type of people that you're around they have to fit the style of the person you are. So how do you become a hang around? Well, it depends what kind of club you're in. You know, to be a one percent of hang around is a longer process. It's harder to get around people if you don't know them. But if you know people in a one percent club, obviously it's a lot easier. You know, if you got a family member in the club or whatever, it's gonna be a lot easier. But if you're not, if you're a person that never has been in the club before you ride and you know in your heart you're a one percenter and this is what you want to do you can try to shoot straight to the top which will be very hard but i would say get in the mix maybe join a riding club stay down with them for a while learn about the culture because there's a lot about the culture that you have to learn and it, i think that joining a riding club or or just riding with people that are in the know necessarily they don't necessarily have to wear cuts but at least they're in the know so you go to events you meet people you go on bike runs poker runs you go to you go to events at the beach and you know biker events with stuff going on you you make friends you you know in time you meet people it's a it's a process it's a it's a marathon not a sprint so if you're really thinking of becoming a one percent or joining a motorcycle club and you don't actually know people it's going to be a long haul process and you know what that's a good thing because nothing good comes easy i feel that anything that comes easy is worth nothing because anything that's dope and really worth anything in this in this life you got to work hard for it. you want the best looking girl in town you're not gonna just walk up to her and day one she's gonna be your girlfriend you know what i mean you gotta put in work she gotta see you around you gotta get to know her unless you're just the all-star like that then i give you much respect and do your thing because you're the chosen one but anything that's worth something there's not luck involved there's a lot of hard work 
So if you want to join a 1% club or a motorcycle club, you're going to have to go to a lot of bike events and start getting to know people. Being any social will get you nowhere if you don't know a lot of people. So you're going to have to get out there, meet people, have a good time, and, and just see if it's even something that you're interested. That's why this hang around process is so important because you actually get to figure out if you even want to join a club. Okay, so let's fast forward. You've went to bike events for years. You you know all the clubs. You know this is, oh, this is a 1% club. When they come around, it's this type of vibe. This is a 99, this is a riding club. This is an MM, you know, like a motorcycle ministry. Maybe your, your belief in God is high, so you feel that that works for you. That's where you play this game. You play the game of who am I? You look in the mirror, what type of person am I? What fits what I wanna get into? That's how you choose your path. And look at yourself in the mirror. Don't lie to yourself and try to be a super tough guy and try to get down with a 1% and then get swallowed up by the process. Take a good look at yourself in the mirror, who you are, what type of people fit in with the type of person you are, and put yourself in a crowd of people that are like-minded. People that have the same type of hobbies, people that like the same things you like. You know what I mean? Dress the way you dress or unless you want to be an oddball that actually fits because sometimes opposites attract so you know your style might fit in it might be more you know exhilarating for you joining a certain type of club but just look in the mirror and be realistic when you do make those friends and then they ask you to hang around and be around the club don't be a knucklehead and be a joker and clowning around it's the same thing like i tell the prospects you need to not talk a lot and you need to study the room and this goes for anything even if you're a fully patched member if you're in a new situation or you're around people you don't know like that you need to study the room study your situation and know what's going on when you're a hang around i don't care how long you've been hanging around for do not act like you're a member do not put on a blank cut and act like you're a fully vested member just because maybe you ride more or something like that. Don't ever put yourself in a situation where you start talking down on members of the club. Remember, you're not a member of the club yet. So that can end up bad for you. And if it's a 1% situation, it can end really bad for you. But the one thing you never wanna do is, I see this a lot, you'll have a, a hang around ride a lot and maybe a fully patched member might for whatever reason not be around as much you don't know what they going through in your life do not tell one of the fully patched members oh um so and so don't ride like that like i never see him don't ever talk that i don't see him type shit because you don't know what that man is doing he could be with other brothers in another area you don't know so don't get into talking about members because that's that's a way right there that you can mess up everything if you really want to get in the club one thing that's very important as a hang around you never want to ask about cuts patches what they mean that type of stuff you're not a member of that club so you cannot ask those type of questions when you're prospecting then you can ask questions like that and if they're going to tell you when you've earned a certain patch or however they work then that's how you'll learn i had somebody in the comments recently ask me oh um you posted a video and you didn't have your cut on like that's the type of shit that i would like a person would get smacked for in real life you know what i mean you don't ask about a person's cut or patches or stuff like that but i understand it's a show and since it's the internet and it's my ghost i'm gonna let y'all know like when i'm doing demons roll stuff i'm not gonna wear the cuts anymore because my views when i'm talking about certain stuff it starts to look like it's a club thing like my club is saying this my club is saying that anything that i say on demons row tv i stand on as a man me myself as a hang around you don't really want to ask too much questions you want to observe and you want to let them show you this is them showing you why you should want a prospect for this club why you would want to represent a cut and hold the banner for this club it's the best process to learn and i said it on another video and i'm gonna say it again somebody cannot be fake for two to three years it's just they're incapable they're gonna show their true colors so you want to see those true colors play out before you make your decision if you want to prospect and prospecting is very fun but it's a lot of work so you also got to say to yourself watch the clubs look at the prospects look how they're treated 
look at what they do and then be honest with yourself is this something that you really want to do when you see them you know going through whatever they're going through is this something that you're willing to persevere through so that's that's like the most important thing to me and it's and if you hang around long enough you don't waste the club's time or your time and it makes it where you don't have to join maybe like a riding club or another club you can hang around long enough where you know what goes on i mean they're not going to tell you inside stuff about clubs you're not going to be able to sit in on meetings or anything like that you know what i mean but you still get to be around the club while they're out and they will show their cards you will see how they move and you'll see how other clubs move befriend the right people and then those people will let you know you know how the club works you know they're not going to talk too inner if they if they represent the club correctly but they will you know show you the good parts of it you know they're not going to show you the bad parts you'll learn that the hard way you know what i mean when you prospect and stuff like that but just pay attention to everything that's going on and i want you to know that a lot of people maybe that have family in clubs or whatever they get in faster so what they do is they'll be down for a while and then they'll just give up their cut and they've wasted a year two years four five depending on who you are a lot of years of their life being in the club so always remember that when you're hanging around hang around for a long time so you're not one of these dudes a year out dropping the club hang around take your time if it's a great club trust me it'll be worth it if it's a shitty club trust me it's worth it for you to get out of there before you even put a prospect cut on before you pay one dollar dues before you clean anybody's bar before you do anything trust me when i tell you this is the most important process in mc culture and on the club side y'all have to make people hang around i know people are thirsty for numbers these days and they want to expand the intentions are good but as a club you have to have hangarounds. You have to have people, you have to weigh people out and figure out who they are before they put on your cut. Cause even when they put on that prospect cut, you might not say, oh, that's my brother or, or he's an official member. You know, he's not an official member yet, but other people that are not in your club are looking at him like he represents your club. They're not just like, oh, he's a prospect. He's not down with the club. You're wearing a cut. So they look at you like, you know, you're a pseudo member of the club. You have the cut on. So you really have to weigh these cats out because, you know, if a dude, if you make a dude hang around for a year before he could even prospect, if he's a sucker, you're going to know that you're going to know it quick. It don't take very long. You put him in as a prospect. He could squeak out the prospect shit for a little while and then he'll let his sucker show once he's fully patched. So let him hang around for a minute. We got to build some strength in these clubs, some endurance, because that's why dudes are being one club one week and then the next club the next week, because it's too easy to get in and out. And that's why clubs get infiltrated. It's too easy to get in. You know how if you just let a dude hang around, there's they have certain budgets for cases. They can't if they're investigating your club, they can't keep a case going on forever. So if you make them hang around for a long time, he's he's way past the statute of limitations of being able to run an investigation on your club. The problem is you guys are letting people in so quick. The the, the, the feds don't even got to get a budget. They just here go. They'll let you in quick and they know they're there for a job. So they're going to go even harder than anybody because they're getting paid to be there every time there's an event, every time something's going on. So you're going to think they're a great prospect and you're going to fully patch them quick. So you, the hang around process is the most important part of MC culture. Let me know in the comments if you agree with what I'm saying, because I really think that if we start making the hang around the new prospect, these clubs and the type of people in our culture are going to be ironclad because the suckers ain't going to last past a year. I think you should mandatory hang around for like a year. I think that should be a mandatory, maybe two years. Some clubs are worse. You know what I mean? And some clubs will make you join a support club before you even join the main club. So, I mean, that's how you get the cream of the crop. You want the cream with you. Quantity is better than quality. Remember that, my brothers, because if you have a whole bunch of suckers, I'm telling you, man, I've been up north. I, I hate to bring it to the gang shit all the time, but I've been up north. It was 10 Crips in Gowanda and it was like 60 Bloods. And guess what? We was good. 
You know why? Because it was the cream of the crop. Because you know, when you go up north, they scared the death to say they're a crip in the New York area. So you, if you holding it down like that with 10 people, that's the cream of the crop. And that's what we need for MC culture. We need the cream of the crop. All the suckers could stay home and hide. We need the cream of the crop on these roads. Let me know in the comments if you're a hang around. Give me a pound hang around. Any questions, I definitely will let you know about it. Give me a pound prospect if you're a prospect right now and let me know how it was how was your hang around process did you get in real fast like the majority of these clubs or did you have to hang around for a minute shout to everybody through these dark times we will still keep rolling and we will get stronger as a culture and this knowledge that we keep giving to each other we need to instill it in the young boys and the younger generation so we build the ironclad culture I'm so proud of being involved with this culture and everything that we do, how like-minded we are, how strong as men we are, how woke we are, how we don't stay home watching TV all day like these zombies, how we are out here riding when everybody else is scared. Just big shout to everybody in this culture because I'm proud of everybody in this culture. Cop the Demons Roll merch. Shout to everybody that's been supporting. Follow the Souls to Ghost page and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.